Hey folks, Templar here, and this is a continuation of our horror series, and today we'll be talking about Silent Hill. Now Silent Hill is one of what I call the kings of horror, and has a long-standing rivalry with Resident Evil. Now, Silent Hill in recent years has been, you know, up and down as of late. I mean, unlike its first three games, which were, which were brilliant, I mean, they were dark, they were scary, and they were, you know, gripping and atmospheric delight. Now, unfortunately, it's recent games after 4, and now a lot of people say 4 was you know, their cup of tea, it was a bit, you know, hitty missy, but some people liked it, some people didn't. Yeah, take it as you will. But recently, after that, it's just been, well, downhill. Even the HD release. Now, I was excited for this release, but when I saw it, I thought, well, the characters look a bit, sound a bit, you know, tired, and the graphics look a bit too light for a horror game. And it was a bit, you know, of a letdown. And now we have the PT trailer, the newest installment to the Silent Hill franchise. Now, we know this is a connection to the new Silent Hill game, which will be out for the PS4 only. Now, to be honest, when I looked at the PT trailer, I loved it. I would have loved to play it, but unfortunately it's only for the PlayStation only. Same with the game. And I am a bit disappointed, but uh, there's not much we can do about it. It's something that we're going to have to live with. I hope that in the future it does get ported over to the Xbox and Nintendo, because to be honest with you, that game looks phenomenal. I mean, hell, even on the PC it will look 10 times scarier than it is. But unfortunately, we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, Silent Hill in general follows the formula of gripping atmosphere, and yet, unlike Resident Evil where you can use guns and bullets to get you out of situations, in this game, it's not an option. I mean, bullets are a rare commodity. Even the gun is rare to find, because now at 10 you'll be using, you know, crosses, charms, and sticks, because there's rarely any guns. And the creatures, well, the apparitions and the machinations, they are very terrifying to look at. I think you, when you look and you're thinking, holy shit, what the hell happened to this guy? Look no further than, you know, Silent Hill 2. It is, like with the pyramid head and all that, it's a prime example of it. As far as Silent Hill's future goes, it really depends on this game, Silent Hill, that's coming out next year. Now, if this game does perform well, then Silent Hill will have a nice bright future. However, if it does badly, like its predecessor did, then... I think the Silent Hill series might be on its way out the door, but we'll have to wait and see how it all progresses. Anyway folks, that's the end of this chapter of the horror genre. Tune in for the third and final installment where I'll be talking about Resident Evil. This is Black Taylor signing off and I hope you have a good one. Bye!